The target of the environmental lawsuit is the naval support facility at Dahlgren on the shores of the lower Potomac on the Virginia side, where environmental groups say boaters and commercial fishermen from both sides of the river sometimes find the potentially dangerous remnants of weapons testing in the river. 87 yards right. The Defense Department supplies lots of video and photos of what they do at Dahlgren. The images show that the Navy shoots everything from conventional artillery to laser-guided rockets into the Potomac between Charles and St. Mary's counties in Maryland and the northern neck of Virginia after shooing away all the boaters. This has been going on since World War I, and the Navy has applied to further expand its firing range, which is already 51 miles long down the river. But according to a new lawsuit, the Navy has never obtained a federal Clean Water Act discharge permit for all the waste and potential toxins that go with weapons testing. The Potomac Riverkeeper, Dean Nojicks, says enough is enough. There's no permit, no limits for, and the Navy has discharged by their own records over 33 million tons of ordnance and munitions into the river in the Navy's own 2013 environmental impact statement, which lists over 50 chemicals and organic compounds. And there's over 50 listed, and a lot of these are really dangerous. Anybody who discharges to the Potomac River waters of the United States has to have a Clean Water Act permit. The 2013 document the Riverkeeper cites says the impacts of weapons testing have had insignificant or no impact on species like sea turtles, rare sturgeon, and dolphins in the river. But the Potomac Riverkeeper says those conclusions are based on modeling, not actual testing to see what's in the water and sediment that's in the river. Dahlgren has three toxic Superfund waste sites on shore, according to federal records. The Navy did not immediately respond to my request for comments about the new lawsuit. In Maryland, Scott Broom, WUSA 9.